See this sign? I really wish we had listened to this sign. This is a story. A story that even my own mother doesn't know about. A story about the time I was in Thailand with my buddy Dylan and we were scared for our lives. So Dylan and I have been on a countless amount of crazy adventures, but none that have put us in this much danger. Before I get into how and why that happened, I need to give some background info. One of the first times Dylan and I met, it was to go ride skateboards. And instead of going to skateboard at a skate park, we decided to skateboard 15 plus miles across all of Manhattan. And we didn't think that was challenging enough, so then we got an even brighter idea to ride bicycles from my apartment in Lower Manhattan all the way to Philadelphia. We've also been to Columbia. Dylan Collins. Too much by law yesterday. Cervezas? But you're one of the most beautiful cities in the world! Huacachina. We are in the middle of nowhere, Peru, right now. No, we're totally somewhere. It's the best place we could possibly be. We're in the middle of the desert. I got pretty good dentist in Peru. Hike to Rainbow Mountain. We made it to the top of Rainbow Mountain. We earned it. Oh yeah, almost passed out at Rainbow Mountain. Dylan and I had the bright idea to go even further than Rainbow Mountain and we we're at the absolute highest point we are 5,000 meters above sea level which is twice the height of Machu Picchu and we are literally in a cloud it's like 20 feet wide it's literally yeah, top we are the only ones up here and it's probably the best view of a cloud that I've ever seen but everything hurts my brain is throbbing my hands are blue and so are my fingernails it's just unreal I've never pushed myself this far before and this is the way you get down. You just start going into this abyss. It was probably not the smartest idea to come up here, but uh, glad we did. Well, I'll be glad once we get it down alive. Trek to Machu Picchu. Wow. Machu Picchu. Dylan. What do you have to say about Machu Picchu? Dude, it's definitely one of the best places on earth. That mountain makes you feel so small, but once you're up here, it reminds you that you're also so big. <laughs> what? <laughs> Cambodia? <laughs> it is about 5.30 in the morning. We're here at Angkor Wat, which is one of the seven wonders of the world, and we're gonna, we're gonna see it for sunrise. I'm excited. You excited? <laughs> it's one of the seven wonders of the world. Of course, I'm excited. Started raining way too hard out there, so I had to come back into the apartment. But Dylan and I have also been to Thailand twice. Now, the first time we went, I was at the time traveling around all of Southeast Asia for about three months by myself, and I knew that I wanted to end my trip in Thailand. I've heard amazing things about Thailand, and I also heard that it's a great country to travel around with a friend. So, I gave Dylan a call. Dylan, tell the people, how did you end up here in Thailand? I get a phone call from uh, this guy right here. Uh, he asked me for a small favor, the smallest. The small, smallest you could ask for, and he said, meet me in Thailand. Uh, obviously, I'm, a, I'm caught off guard. And I don't blame him for being caught off guard. Dylan had never left the country before this point, but I knew if I can convince him to come, it'd change his life forever. Thailand is beautiful. 
Oh, my feet are stoked. <laughs> and it's really good, actually. Right? I'm never going to the dollar menu again. <laughs> Koh Tao, Thailand, 2016. I almost just fell. Let's talk about this most recent time, which was three months ago. And the reason we went back for a second time was because I got hired by Sony to make a video using their latest camera. And I wanted to shoot the video in Thailand since it's one of the most beautiful places on earth and one of my favorite places on earth. But I needed a friend to come help film and I don't think Dylan minded at all. And for the last shot of the Sony video, I wanted it in Phuket, Thailand on Monkey Hill where I could attach the little Sony camera to a rope give it to the monkeys and have the end of the video appear like the monkey stole it. And we got the rope, we got the plastic fasteners, now hopefully it's just stronger than the monkeys and get some cool shots with the camera really close to them. What's up guys, my name is Mike the Monkey. Subscribe to my channel, oh, I'll wait later. <laughs> And everything was going perfectly. The monkeys were loving it, they were playing with it, they were smacking it, they were putting it in their mouth and trying to eat it. But then, after we got the shot and ready to leave, we got attacked by monkeys. There must have been thousands upon thousands of monkeys on this monkey hill in Phuket, Thailand. But of course, you only really want to feed the small baby monkeys. But then out of nowhere, a giant alpha male monkey comes out of nowhere and jumps on Dylan's arm, scratches him, and bites him. And then I turn my back and the monkey jumps on the back of my pants on the back of my leg and bites me as well. Well, you know what, Brett, if this is the very last thing that I see, it's not a bad view. Well, not many people get bit by a monkey. Uh, I can now say that I have been bit by a monkey. Uh, that's a rat. Save my life, Brett Conti. Save my life. I know we didn't look too scared at this point since we didn't really know the effects of what getting bit and scratched by a monkey could have. But then we get back to the hotel and looked up how monkeys in Thailand have a chance of having rabies. And then we started freaking out. The time I got attacked by a monkey. Hey man, at least you don't got this. Yeah, he was a fucking asshole. We had no idea what to do. We're on the other side of the planet. I didn't even want to tell my mom because I thought she would start freaking out even more and want me to go home. But I just tried to stay calm. And we thought the best thing that could be in our interest would be to go to a Thai hospital. The doctor ended up telling me that I technically didn't need to get these rabies shots since mine was through my pants and it didn't pierce the skin. But I wasn't gonna let my best friend who I convinced to come to Thailand to get these shots on his own. So I decided to get them too. When in Thailand, get bit by monkeys and get vaccinations. Done? Yeah. What? Wow, what a badass. And the thing about rabies shots is, you need to get five of them. One immediately after the encounterment, then three days later, seven days, 14 days, and on the 28th day. So throughout our entire trip, we had to find places on those days to get our rabies shots. Even when we were in Cambodia. Currently in Cambodia, at a hospital. It's uh, a little sketchy. We got attacked by monkeys in Thailand. Need to get a rabies shot, but this is definitely the least professional hospital I've ever been to. Only in Cambodia, you go to the hospital and your nurse is wearing a keep calm shirt. Makes me feel very safe. Is this still in? No. The nurse? <laughs> Luckily, we're fine and back home now, but I'm glad Dylan and I had each other to go through that experience since if one of us were traveling by ourselves and that happened... I wanted to share this story with you guys for two reasons. One is of course if you're going to Thailand and you plan to play with wild monkeys, maybe you should look into getting rabies shots. And two, how there is nothing on this earth to be prized more than true friendship. 
and Dylan is definitely a true friend. Someone who will always have my back even when my crazy ideas put us in danger. So in return for saying yes and coming to help film my project in Thailand and knowing his passion for art, I gave Dylan my nearly new Canon 70D camera and he loved that thing. But then after a week of having the camera, we were in crabby Thailand and we got caught in the gnarliest rainstorm. We were swimming, and oh my god, rain just came down out of nowhere. Oh, I think you guys can guess where this is going, but we get back to our hotel, and he realized that his camera wasn't working. It had water damage. And I felt so bad. He truly loved that. He is an artist, and being able to take photos and videos was just something I could see he was so passionate about. So to see that, after only a week of having it, I felt so bad. And tomorrow is actually Dylan's birthday, and instead of giving him the cash to get his camera fixed, I got this idea where we can get his camera fixed and I can get you guys involved as well. Dylan is on his way over right now and he has no idea, but the mural that he painted on the wall at my apartment, I made into long sleeve t-shirts. Good time. <laughs> okay. What's up, Dylan? I, hate that with you. I thought that was your girlfriend. <laughs> I wish. Whatever it is, man, I'm like super stoked. Open it up. Oh, alrighty. Whoa, I got some swag! Wow, Wait, bro. Look at the stuff. graphic. Oh, no way. Look, open the what whole thing up. What is this shit, dude? What? Yo, what the fuck? What? Yo, oh! oh no way, dude! Yeah! Oh, yeah, dude. Wow, dude. What? Yo, Brett Conti, I couldn't ask for anything more than this, man. This is the greatest gift That's ever. That's what we do. Best gift anyone's ever got me, dude. Look at that. Look at the tiny get out and get busy, guys. That's so crazy. The plan is to sell all of these so that you can get a new camera. What? No, no. So you're getting all the money. No, come yeah. on, man. Wow. Wow, Brett Conti. Dude, how do you do so many cool things, man? <laughs> oh, man. What? We need to get you back on YouTube, Dylan Collins. Yeah. If there's one thing that is, is inspiring is, is Brett fucking content. I am so stoked on how these shirts came out. Not just because they came out super sweet, but because when I find true friends, people like Dylan, I try and create as many stories and memories as possible with them. And now we have a tangible one. Now we have these shirts that I will never throw out and can't wait to keep forever. And you guys can be a part of it too. I ordered 36 of them, a very limited run. So if you want to support a fellow artist, my good buddy Dylan, get his camera back, then you can click the link in the bio and you can get one of these awesome shirts and a part of my wall.